Hiya, oh, yeah. today I'm going to modify my uh, Trainus QX7. Um, I decided not to go with the normal battery tray at the back and I got myself a power pack, a uh, nickel metal hydride 2000 milliamp pack. Uh, I also got myself a little jack plug there which is 5.5 millimetres uh, by 2.1 mil, I think it is. And also a little charge port there as well. What I'll do is I'll put the descriptions in the link below in the descriptions below and you can see where I got, oh, I got more from Banggood and I got myself a 2S uh, balance lead as well so basically what I've done already is I've taken the screws out, I've removed the plates at the back and being careful with your gimbals, laying it on the back there I've lifted this off I've put an 8mm hole into here into the side here I've put it roughly in the middle so it allows for the little little screw to go in and basically what will that what will that do will I should put this in it'll fit in here like so and then I'll screw it in below so really it's pretty basic all I'm going to do is cut this lead to size I'm going to pop that in there like that but first what I'll do is if I take this you don't need the middle lead for the for the uh, balance lead so I'm going to pop that out like so there we go and what I'll do is I will pull the middle one out there so we don't need that, that's no good get rid of that and then so basically what, what will happen is this will be plugged into here like so if I get it in, there you go and that will be routed over to here where it will be soldered to this little jack here and also the other end of this will be coming out like that so when I plug it in the battery can plug into this and that is basically it, it's nice and simple it can't go, it can't go wrong really so I can cut this here we go like so And what I'll do is I'll pull these off. Okay, so I've stripped the wires. I'm just going to twist them together like this. Hopefully you can see that. And I'll make it easier to solder onto one pad. And then twist it onto that one as well. There we go. And then we just solder it onto this. Remembering that the little one is the plus. Let's put a little bit of solder on there. There we go. A little bit on there. Excellent. Okay. So the red leads, just twisted those together there. There you go. Nice and neat. So the red lead goes on here, onto the small one. There we go, nice and neat. Spin it around. Get more solder on that one. Yeah. Okay, and these go on the long side. There we go, nice and neat. There. So this is what it looks like. So you've got two black leads come off the negative, two red leads on the positive, and that is your little harness. Uh, what I'm going to do is take off these plugs so I can fit it through the hole. I can pull these ones out on here quite nice and easy. Just remember which side you're putting them in. Uh, that's a good idea. I'll put a little black dot on there for a negative. There we go, so I don't forget. There we go, pull them out. And then we're just going to have to pull these pins out of here. There we go, so I should pop that in there. I can see what I'm doing. There you go, there's one. And while I remember, little little black dot on there, so I know it's negative. There you go, out they come. And then what I'm going to do now is I will feed these through here, like so. There you go. 
and with a bit of friendly persuasion that fits in there like that and it will eventually just look like that the little holding screw well nut goes on So, pop that over. There we are. Okay, so that's on nicely. Just screw that in so it's nice and tight. Don't want to cross thread it. There we go. Put that on there. Just tighten it up. a bit like that so we can put these back on remembering which way it goes so there you go black goes on this side put the black pin back in like so and your red pin on the opposite side there we go and then what we're going to do is we can put a little bit of heat shrink on these so black on the black there there we go click click and that's not very clean, there we go, and that one there. All good to go. Um, let's get a little bit of heat shrink. There we go, just pop that in. Okay. And pop a bit. There we There we go. That's all ready to go. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I might just pop a little bit round on this one here, on here, just to protect that as well, just for a bit of peace of mind. Find a bit of okay. Don't burn your case. Okay, so that's how it's looking. Nice and neat there. All ready to go, I think. Okay. So, just remember those pins. Pop those over like that. There we go, pop them in here for now. And then line your pins up. There we go. There's plenty of room in there. So, there we go, just pop the excess in there. Okay, once that's all back into place, pop your lid back on, mind your pins. There we go. Put your battery in, get your little lead, plug it in. There we go. Pop that in there nice and neat. Put that in there. Fits nice and snug. Put your back plate back on. If you can. And there, we're done. And there it is. Okay, once that's all put back together again. That's what it looks like. Nice clean charging point. And I don't have to take that off anymore. All ready to go. And what I'm going to be using for uh, charging it, uh, my normal charger. But what I'll do is I shall put uh, an XT60 on here, plug it straight into the charger, plug it into there, and away you go. There we go. There. And there. Beautiful. There we go. Nice and secure. Let's pop them back on.
there you go got yourself a nice little charge lead excellent all right fit in nicely in there ready to charge <laughs>